city in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is Swayze, and I'm in a good mood, guys. I don't know what it is. Yo, yo, did you guys hear that new Chris Brown? Did you hear it? Need you right here. Need you right here. Let's take it there. Do the name. Yo, on Baby Jesus Huggies, whoever comes over here first this weekend is getting her back blown out to that whole album. And guys, do you see? Do you see? We are almost at 100K subscribers. It feels surreal. And I just want to give a shout out to all of my supporters, especially Holy Cigarettes. He goes cash app crazy and he recently gave me a few words of encouragement. And he's right. I need to start thinking more highly of myself. But let's get into this video because as you all know by now, Swayze is under the bed. It's getting hot outside. Niggas is thugging and bugging and I'm trying to make it through the summer. However, even though I'm on the sidewalks, it doesn't mean that these kids are not still on the streets and needs to be reached. Which brings me to our subject for this video, the pint-sized savage D-Dot. Yes, apparently it looks like the Coco felon has yet to put down the Flintstones vitamins because he is out here still geeking. Now, if you're not aware, Sugar Hill D-Dot has been going crazy with the music since the last time we spoke about him on his channel. And the hatred that he has for K Flockington only grew over time. And this is the part where I want you guys to look at your screen. Look at your screen. What are they doing? What are they tearing down? <gasps> Is that the most dangerous man in the world's poster that they're vandalizing? Oh. No. Okay. 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 Now what you just seen was D-Dot and his fellow classmates tear down K Flox and Fabio Foreign's poster. I guess it's safe to say that D-Dot is K Flox's smallest slash biggest op in the towns. Now if you're new here, you're probably thinking to yourself, Swayze, why does he have such a disdain for K Flock? Well, I'm going to tell it to you just like this. What you could do is click that little icon in the corner right there and go look at the 13-year-old menace to society mini documentary and find out yourself. What you want me to do, sit here and explain the whole thing all over again? These kids these days I want you to do everything for them. But all you need to know is that it got to be serious if these little niggas is hitting a poster with a cane. Like, bro, he hit that shit like K-Flock felt it. But before I go, let me just say this real quick. All jokes aside, it's getting really hot outside, guys. And you know what that means. This summer is gonna be lit. So if you can hear the sound of my voice, just make sure that you stay safe. Look both ways before crossing a one-way street. If somebody asks you for the time, say you don't have a phone. And if somebody walks up to you and asks you for your shoe size, just run away because I'm telling you right now, that nigga got nothing to lose. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Bloop. <laughs> Who's going to take the glory?